Ken, we're on. Yep. Almost ready. Well, like anything's happening. We can't start, can we? Welcome. Well, I'm promoting to... your freaking business. What? What are you doing? Are oh, you doing an Instagram? I did. I haven't done my Sorry. Welcome to <laughs> Welcome to FO8. Uh, yeah, Instagram Ken. Jump on there. Be ready to be thoroughly excited about what you're about to see. Brilliant. This week, Bolivar Silver Jubilees, LGR June 19. Freshies, very fresh. You haven't had them, I've had a couple. No, I haven't. No? No, that's right. Is I like some. Right? I love that. It looks wonky. It's not wonky. No, mine looks good. Yours looks wonky. I gave you the better one. I took it for a photo. Yeah, I gave you the better one. So let's clip it and start it and just check the draw before we get going. Silver Jubilee, 25 years, 25 years of PCC, Pacific Cigar Company, started by David Tang, who's recently passed. Um, a few years ago, hasn't it? Last year, yeah. It was only last oh, year, yeah. only last year, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe the year before. This decade. I think I, only, I met him very briefly in Havana once. Well, you always mentioned it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, choke on it, will you? <laughs> choke on it. <laughs> <laughs> he, he did do one very good thing for the world, those monarch. Uh, yeah, yeah, and monarchs. Tang Wallach's superb. Oh. My draw is perfect, how's your draw? What I do like about it, I love this size, yeah. Um, I, I love the drop head, it just fits so comfortably in the mouth. I, I, you know, it's not a huge cigar, it's just, it's, it's, it's nice, it's good. In fact, I, I don't really like cigars too much bigger than this. Uh, to be honest, this should be right up your. Good, draw fine. Very firm, very firm. Very firm, or I think I might even use a bit of this one this time. Can you? Yeah, just make this even get it right. If not, that'll be good. That'll be right. It'll be good. I'm always concerned about Ken's welfare when it comes to draw. He couldn't care less. He just doesn't want me to bag his cigar so he doesn't sell them. Yeah. Still, better. still firm, but a little better. But that's fine. So okay. No, so okay. I'll throw the brake. Left side. Of, We'll, we'll manipulate it through the break and double check it. Um, sorry, just comment. You've got a beautiful wrapper on yours. Mine's a bit dungy. Yours is. Um, there's a there's a little bit veiny, but not bit bad. Bit veiny, but nice. What's your aroma, Colt? It's a bit sort of mushroomy. Yeah. Garden pongy. Yeah. Mm. Mushroom forest floor garden pongy. You wouldn't know because gardening, you know, actually working in the garden, you wouldn't. I've wouldn't. seen people work in gardens. Yeah, you've so, driven past. Yeah. Okay. And it's probably Pete. flung your rubbish at them. <laughs> From that terrible thing you call a car. A thing that looks like someone sat on it. <laughs> it really is a shocker. Alright, we will be back to you at the end of the first third. <laughs>
the first three quarters of an inch, I thought, not much here. I mean, it was it was fairly well above medium, sure. but there wasn't much to it other than just a, a sort of a four square cigar without any great flavours or anything to excite. And I thought, oh, this is a bit of a worry. And then this caramel character kicked in, and I've had it ever since. Not that I've gotten much further. Yeah, I had a major transition. Yeah, after uh, about, about an inch. Yeah, about, about an inch. Major transition Total straight change. through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's interesting with the BBFs, because I did one for Confessions the other day um, that you very kindly left, and didn't get that excited. And I went back over what notes I've got, and I've never got that excited about them. And I, I look at other people's reviews and, and yeah. what people in the forum have said, and I've never had the same experience. You yeah. either love BBF or you don't. But and, it, and that's the way it normally is. It's not so much that I don't love it. I just thought it was a pretty average cigar, the one yeah. I tried. And then the ones, I haven't tried a lot, but the ones I have tried have all been a bit the same. I've never had that really full bodied richness flavour thing that other people get. Yeah. I've I, never I, seen one. I, I think um, it's, it's not, and a little bit like the Bolivar Royal Corona, to be honest. It, it, it divides people straight down the line. You either love BRCs or you hate BRCs, or you just don't get BRCs. Oh. You either love BBF and you don't get BBF. I, I'm thinking though that I'm I'm still on the fence because you haven't had that great beer. I yet. haven't had the, a really good one. We'll see if we can change that in the next couple of I do some time. So. I do be good. Told. But this is coming along really nicely. All of a sudden it's transitioned. Yeah, that's when it moved. Really, yeah. really, really nicely. I don't mind because remember it's a June nineteenth cigar, yeah. Right. So I don't mind that you know, we talk about journeys in the cigar flavour profiles. This is going yeah, I wasn't sure where the hell that was going. Now I can see where it's heading, but it's, I, I, I love to see that transition. And it's just another good, leaf. but it's yeah. got to be showing something. I mean, there's no point in having a journey from crap to more crap. Yeah, but that you this, can't. This that that what that first part wasn't crap. It was, it was, it was, it was ballsy, if not a little bit confused. Now I don't mind confused in a young cigar, because you know it's still trying to work itself out. But bang, here we are into this next bit. Yeah, now it's, um, I'm enjoying it far more than I did for that first three quarters of inch. We'll be back at the end of the second third. Phone calls permitting. Second third, Kenny. Still a little bit of that um, caramel, almost coconutty character. Not as much as, as Coconut's when, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, when it kicked in. Um, young cigar. Sort of, it's okay at, the, at this stage, but it's still got you know, probably well, a, a bit over half to go. A bit of rum balls. Well, coconut uh, no, 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 caramel. Coconut rum balls, yeah. I, getting that sort of drifting in and out. It's a little bit confused, but I, I, I'm, yeah. I think you're going to be happy with these two years, two and a half, three years. Absolutely spot on. It's got a lot going on there. It's just not all showing at this point in time, which is about right, to be honest. Look, if, you, if you're someone who buys lots of boxes, I'd certainly say... Yep, at this stage If you need to buy boxes to smoke next month or three months down the track, do not touch these. No. Don't touch these. Or pick up a sixer and throw them away somewhere. But uh, don't touch these. If you've prepared to... I mean, I feel like I've had this c cigar before. Um, it, it reminds me a lot of other cigars which are very, very close early on. and kind of like the Ramoni on a Celestialis Finos, that sort of stuff there. It's got... You know, the Romano Yonis Celestialis Finos was an appalling cigar up front. It was brutal. It was absolutely brutal. This isn't that. This has got a lot more character to it, a lot more class to it. Oh, and the, the Celestialis Finos and Romano Yonis finished as one of, the, one of the best cigars of the last 20 years. Uh, I'm not saying this is going to be one of the best cigars of the last 20 years, but it is going to be completely different in 36 months' time than what it is today. But I've seen enough in this cigar today that, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd like to put a couple of boxes away. If that caramel character builds, these will be lovely. If it doesn't, I'd be less excited. Yeah. Um, to me, if if you've got a, a cigar budget that allows you to buy a range of box, boxes regularly, have you seen definitely. That, have you seen that um, that poll that we've done? We've got, I think it's, forgive me if I got this wrong, I think it's about 12% of our members, 12% of our members own 5,000 or more cigars. Yes. That's a serious, serious amount, of cigars, amount yeah. of cigars. That's retailer level. Um, so, so yeah, if you're if you're if, you, if you're you got one thousand to five thousand cigars, should you put yes, absolutely put one of these away. Uh, I don't have too many doubts about that. If you've got a limited budget, I'd be saying that there's better. If, if you, yeah, better if you need to smoke cigars 
if you need to smoke, well, like anything else, to be honest, if you need to smoke cigars that are going to smoke well in 90 days or six months' time, within two years, you need to stick to the general production cigars. Those are some absolutely superb general production cigars. Um, anyway. Yeah. We'll wrap this up in the last third shortly. Can you wrap this up? Overall, good. There's a lot to go. No, you're down to, you're down, getting down to the nub. No, that's not the nub. No, you're getting down there. Just, what are you worried about? I'd like, like to give a cigar a fair go. What do you want? We'll come back to you in five minutes. That'd be silly. I'm going to give it an 89.90. Um, rum. What do you think of the rum? I'll give that a 95, 96. Okay. I really enjoy the rum. What do you think it is? I've got no idea. Well, you're allowed to have a guess. Caribbean? Yes. Yeah. Ish. Ish? Yeah. Caribbean ish. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go Cuban on that. <coughs> it was. What? It was at one stage. It's a Bacardi. It's a Bacardi. Hang on, Bacardi. What sort of Bacardi is it? Bacardi eight year old. Really? Yep. It's the one Bacardi I really like. Seriously? It's eight year old Bacardi. Wow. And that's why I didn't show you the bottle because. Preconception. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And it's a good run. It, it's a good run. The eight year old's always been. Eight year old Bacardi. Yep. Try it. How much? That's not expensive, is it? Oh, it's not. It's nowhere near the. You know, the give it a crack, people. Yeah. It's good. So give us a, a wrap up of the cigar. It's just started to get some sort of hot and earthy characters coming through, and the, uh, the body's going up a bit. Um, That's I'll, why I don't mind finishing young cigars a bit early. Yeah, it's lost the caramel. Um, I mean, I, I think it'd be harsh to give it less than 89, but generous to give it more. I said 89, 90. Yeah, so I can't. You know, with, with some serious ups, I want to revisit. Revisit in 12 months time. I think that's where we start seeing some real, the beginnings of evolution to it. Um, Being Australian and therefore all cigars costing about a thousand dollars a stick these days. Oh, they're not cheap. I mean, um, nothing's cheap. I mean, no. really. Um, I mean, I wouldn't be rushing to buy them, but if I had, if I had a cigar budget that allowed me to buy regularly, bang, put them away. I'd, I'd slip a box somewhere. Uh, for any sure. time you hit that toffee, coffee, toffee, caramel note in a cigar, young, put it away. And it was pretty it up, strong. It was put it away. Mine had was strong. Because right, it's one of the great identifiers of potential greatness down the track. I mean, it's seldom failed me mm. in looking for those features in a cigar. A little bit like stone fruits, the other one, yeah? Mm. So if I, if I get a cigar that brings me that stone fruit, that peach, that melon sort of nature at a, at a young point, crikey, I feel as money as I can <coughs> away. So for me, caramel and stone fruit are the two features I look for in a young cigar to put away. Different cigars, generally. But, uh, and, and put those away. That's, that, 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 so that golden rule is, I can't think of a time to set me wrong. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't disagree with that. Yeah. Um, and it's certainly, the, the body's really cranking right up now to me. Yeah. Well, it started full. Well, it's, it's finishing the way it started. For me, anyway. Good. Nice interesting, to, interesting cigar. Nice to, nice to go through it. And again, yeah. one, I'll put that on the radar. Sorry. It's from the same box. It, and it's, the same it's box. a Hong Kong one. It's a, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a Pacific uh, Silver Jubilee. So, uh, PCC Silver Jubilee. So there still be there still should be plenty around for the next I'd say till about January. Riots uh, permitting. Pardon? Riots uh, permitting. God, it's awful to watch, isn't it? Oh. It's just awful to watch it. Uh, such a such a beautiful place, just disintegrate. Uh, but everywhere you look's got riots. Yeah. Just. I know. Mm. Anyway, it's only going to get worse. I'm an optimist. I think. We got, we're, we're, we're about to change and talk in much better times. Kind of more gentler, caring kind of society. More gentler, can, yeah, exactly right. It'll be right after I start dating supermodels. <laughs> it's about as much chance. We'll see you next week. Cheers. <laughs>